What's up guys, it's Crazy with another episode of Ellen Wake. I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah! Hell! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Oh! Yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. I need some freaking weapons. Oh my god. Hmm, let's read the manuscript. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking. Something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here. Damaged in ways that were hard to describe. Or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction. To be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made me. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. All right then. <clears throat> Oh, 
Holy crap. Oh man, this is no good. Oh man. Dude, what the hell? Is everything coming after me? Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, dude. I'm back at the same spot. Where am I supposed to go then? Get to the farm. I already came this way. Right. Jesus, save me, all this stuff's coming after me. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Hmm. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. I hope this too, man. What the hell is this? It's a freaking hole in there. Alright, let me make a jump for it. Yeah, buddy. Yes, stupid generator. Ready, let's read this manuscript real quick. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Of course you fucking ass. Nobody's gonna kill me. So I've got mode on. Just kidding. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. God, not those guys again. Oh man, never mind that shit. What to do? Dude, <laughs> fucking impossible shit. Sorry about my cursing, but... I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. 
I shouldn't stop to power the generator. Omega three fatty acids are good for your heart. LOL I reached the checkpoint A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Let's check it out. Nothing here but freaking flashlights. The car was heading for the cabin <coughs> up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Where's this guy? I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. All these bear traps. <whistles> Close call there. Pick shotgun, let's do that. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Freaking bear traps. No. Bad idea. Didn't even have to fight. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny! You're not! Ah! Please! Ah! What, what are you? What are you? Ah! No! I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? 
<laughs> it makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. I did, motherfucker. There's dead meat. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Hmm. The fuck was that? Farm animals are in pets. Let me guess. Danny, huh? Damn you, Danny. Danny is a bastard. The front door was locked. The hell? I could climb out through the broken window. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Oops. the last of them? Guess so. Let's continue. Holy crap! Guess I have to walk. Come on, 
throw it? Yeah. Yeah, sorry guys, my hand is in bandages, so it's pretty hard. I need to kill these guys. But I did it. No problems. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! God damn! I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! <clears throat> Ow! We have to fight him off! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped! Al, hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights on! Shit! Whew. Oh, this sucks, man, with one hand. I mean, with two fingers, play. Stay in the light! No, no, no! Why do you keep doing this to me? Do it for Barry, please, please, please! <laughs> that 
the fuck just happened? Awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. The fuck just happened? Guess I made it, but. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Let's see. Guess I have to jump. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive in this. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Sleep. We all spend uh -oh, the third of our night dreams spring. in a soft embrace. Man. Somewhere it's between memory and oblivion. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Life. Was this one or of your episodes? Versa. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode... Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones. By a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. Let's read, read this one. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring mm. in the depths. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Okay. Isn't this my dream? The Viking boat oh. looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Let's use it as a battering ram. No. You like that, Barry? My little fat ass bald bitch. Okay, we got some situation here.
That's Barry. Fighting at the cross is hard work. Who the hell are you? You're like the boss guy again. Stop acting like you're all cool and stuff. Come over here, I'll kill you. Can't hurt me, buddy. He's stuck. Nope. It's freaking stuck here. I think we can make it through here, Al! Where the hell are you then? Holy shit, these guys are hardcore. shot. Hey, what's up? Guys, this will be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Ellen Wake by Crazy. See ya! Hi guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. See you guys later. Bye bye.